All right, y'all. I'm gonna show you what I have been up to with uh, my BMW, which I have. I thought that was gonna be enough light, but obviously not. Uh, but we have Catalyst downpipe. I'm installing the downpipes. So Catalyst downpipes for BMW. Uh, so just wanted to show you real quick. I'm not running the secondary O2 sensors because um, they were chewed off by a rat. So there's that. And then this didn't want to line up with my stock exhaust. So I had to give it a couple bangs and I was paying that ass. Other than that though, over here on the turbos, oh, oh well, you can see it. But uh, on the turbo side, everything went good. Uh, v bands worked and everything. Oh, two sensors and all that. Everything was good. Um, it was just, you know, when it came down to here, one hole would line up and the other one was like off. Seven inch uh, intercooler. So, changed out the intercooler for the bigger one. Seven inch stepped intercooler. Show you guys. Same uh, C clips in there. Um, obviously, same way to bolt it up. Yeah, I'll put some pictures up of the side by side. It's a lot lighter. And then a charge pipe. All right, guys. So yesterday, uh, it was, you know, later at night, and I just kind of forgot to record. I installed my charge pipe. It's just a cheap eBay one. It's an excess power charge pipe. Nothing special. Um, reuse your OEM um what do you call it charge pipe o-ring and then that little c-clip as well and then you can also reuse your obviously your stock sensor right there that one right there you see it let me see there you go that's stock sensor right there you're going to reuse it um and they supply you with the bolts and washers to because these threads are different than the other threads on the other charge pipe um it's got that little fitting there just make sure you tighten it um and then first little boot clamps make sure you tighten these pretty good and then just the knock off uh blow off valve vacuum line run this vacuum line to where the uh stock um charge pipe ran the it's vacuum line it's like on that side of the throttle body it's a little uh plug um so just run it there and then that's about it really Oh shit, it zoomed. Oh, hell yeah. My phone's tweaking. Uh, you can kind of see it. Uh, obviously, I not to install the catch can. And stick it in there, tighten it up. The long one goes to the back and goes to the inlet. And then you have this one. You got a clamp there, and it does a U. And that's the outlet so it's gonna go from here it goes to the back gets uh goes out there goes to the baffle goes in here and then goes into your inlet so that's how it looks that's good to go and do a phone yeah, i already had dual phones all right but so we have the w here set it nice and low m3 front bumper braceline cold overs looking good i got the ultimos they honestly ride really good i thought they'd ride a lot worse and you can, you can kind of see definitely i think the back's more lower in the front i may be tripping but yeah so raceland coilovers uh, i got the ultima ones they're like 470 something already shipped with everything um, and then obviously i'll put the front bumper on it it's an m3 front bumper yeah i still need the bottom fog lights and I need the kidney grills because I thought the ones off my bumper were going to fit, but they don't because they're different. Uh, I did a muffler delete. I'm going to show you guys the, the muffler delete. Oh. Yep. 
not too much louder. And obviously now it has countless downpipes, so it still has secondary cats and the resonator. Um, so it's, it's a little louder, but not much. Um, and obviously the seven inch intercooler, charge pipe, basically full bolt on now. Uh, but yeah, I do got some paint issues that I want to address. Oh, then here, the door has a couple, like that swirl, you see that? Oh yeah, you can see it. And then there's a chip here and the fender has a little scratch right there. I want to get that fixed. Um, and then on this side, we have, this door has a dull spot. You see it right there, right down there. Uh, I don't know what that is. So get that fixed, a little paint stuff. And you get the car looking good. Get the, you get the bumper paint matched to the, you know, paint obviously. And pipe. Probably get the hood painted to get these little, you know, rock chips fixed and then get the kidney grills this blacked out. Uh, the bottom fog lights and all that good stuff. I think the car should be pretty good. Um, I do want to tune it. That's what I'm waiting on to figure it out. I'm probably going to go with MHD. Uh, now that I'm full bolt on, I should be able to up the boost a little more. So, yeah. What do you guys think I uh, should do next? I mean, I don't know. I've got coilovers, AB rims. I like how these rims look though. But I could go with different rims, uh, different headlights. I don't like that orange stuff on those new on those headlights, but they're new. So I am gonna get tint. So that's already off the list. I want to get uh, a rear wing. Just little stuff. Um, but I do want to get, now that it's full bolt time, I do want to get it tuned, see what I can push and see what I can rate. Let me know what you think about the car, how it's coming along. I'm sorry I did not do an install video for everything I did. Uh, I just kind of got ahead of myself and started doing a bunch of stuff. Um, oh yeah, and I also did get FCP Euro's um, ignition kit. So it's got NGK uh, one step coder spark plugs and the Delphi coil packs. All right guys, so oil change is done. I'm pulling out the old coils and I'm about to pull out the spark plugs here in a bit. Um, we got the whole cow off look over there. But here's the, the FCP Euro box. So I got the you know, NGK one step coder spark plugs and the uh, Delphi ignition coils with the lifetime warranty for like 240 something. I mean, you can't beat that. So. Yeah, uh, like and subscribe, comment, let me know what's up, what should I race, uh, should I go with MHD, JB4, uh, custom tune or off the shelf tunes, what do you guys think, um, future mods, I mean, you know, any type of feedback's uh, welcomed. Everything is eBay on the car by the way, I didn't mention that, eBay intercooler, that was a G plus intercooler. Black horse racing or something like that. Uh, Catless downpipes are like 180, 210 for the G plus uh, in the cooler and 180 for the charge pipe. It's the excess power. Things like the second version, the V2 version. Um, they've been doing good so far. We'll tune it and see how far we can push it. You know, find out how much you can uh, get out of little eBay stuff.